Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios, and welcome to my November barn tour. Before we get too into it, I just want to let you guys know to please check out my Etsy. I'm still doing custom orders where you can send me a picture of any horse and I can help you make your dream a reality. Also, these super cool mini tiny schleich and they are literally the most adorable tiny things ever that you need for your barn. And I also have a bunch of saddle pads up right now and I'll be listing hopefully some more custom models soon. Also, some very fun, awesome news is that the huge barn in the basement that you guys have all been asking about, I finally spent so long cleaning it up so it is ready for you all to see. And let's get started. Okay, so this is the barn that I have in my room right now and this shelf as well. So this is Tiger Lily. She's one of my most recent customs on the retired Hanoverian mare. I really love her and her blanket is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's super cute on her. And then next to her is Black Widow and she is a custom on the retired Napstrapper mare. And I also love the lacing on her blanket. I think it's gorgeous. And then right here is Spirit and he is the retired Lusitanio Stallion. And then right here is Sire, and he is the retired Tennessee Walker Stallion, and his halter is made by Infinity Briars, and his blanket is made by me. And basically all the blankets are basically made by me. Um, there's all those really tiny birds, so adorable. Some little um, books over here, a little cat and some supplies. And then this is Bentley and he is wearing some tack that's part of a custom order that I haven't finished yet. So I thought I would put him in here. I don't usually do um, custom tack orders, but this person was a close friend. So decided to do that for them. And then over here is Moonshine. She is the quarter horse mare with her full Brent. Um, and then right here we have Marian. She's just giving her an apple, some tax supplies, a little puppy, another little doggy. And then over here is the Clydesdale mare and foal. The mare's name is Misty and the foal's name is Belmont. Okay, and then over here is Persephone. Um, she's the retired halflinger mare. And then on the ground is Miner, and he is the um, laying down Halflinger Foal. So these are these two barns here. And yes, all the barns are made by me. I do have a tutorial on how to make some barns, so you guys should go watch that. Also have a tutorial on how to make these blankets, so yeah. Now we're moving to the four seasons. So I thought we would start with our current season, which is fall. And a new addition, I have these super awesome leaves, which I will be including in my new fall tutorial. I have an October Halloween decorations tutorial um, that I did, and I'll be making a fall Thanksgiving one soon as well. So here is Christy and Aurora, and they have some chickens back there um, that are just pegging around. And then this over here is Milo and Shrew, the two little dogs, and of course, Peanut, our little squirrel. And then um, just a fire, some pumpkins and apples, and this is basically it for the fall box. We'll move on to the winter box. So here is Oliver, he's a custom I did on the retired paint stallion. And then this is Nicholas, and they are just in this beautiful, beautiful winter scene. And I wish winter was like this all the time, but it's usually just cold. <laughs> and this is the summer box, and we have the Fallabellas here. So in the corner there, the mare's name is Moonflower. The foal's name is Spot. And then the gelding's name is Sugar Cube. And they have their own little stall here and a little muck bucket as well. A little picnic area. They can relax with these little tiny hedgehogs, a little lap bunny, um, some chicks. And then back there is Sandy. She's a chicken based on my real life chicken. So yeah, this is the summer box. And then lastly, we have the spring box. We have like a ton of bunnies back here as well as some guinea pigs from the newer like sets, which are super cute. And then this is Cranberry. She is the retired Icelandic mare. Bring box. Very beautiful cherry blossoms. 
Okay, and now for the bottom levels. So this is just another barn here, two mares in them. This is the exclusive um, Hanoverian mare from 2020. And her name is Moonwalker. And then over here is Hari, and he is the retired quarter horse gelding. There's also this cat, Sissy, who's just prowling about and some nice buckets. And then over here is just some a bareback set, a uh, crop, and there's some other stuff back there. There's like some hoof oil, treats, and yeah. And this is the tack room. So here we have some saddle trees from Schleich um, and just some homemade saddle pads. And then in the back, um, there's some helmets and books and a little uh, horse coloration chart, a beautiful window, the clock, and then some more saddle racks over here. And then here is e, um, Enana, and she is carrying this saddle. And then of course we have Gilbert, this adorable little rat. And then in this box, we have two um, collective horses in stalls. Uh, so right here is Greystone, and he is the Chocaner Stallion um, made by Collecta. And then over here is Goldilocks, and she is the Missouri Fox Trotter Mare from Collecta. And then back there is Jennifer, and she is just um, prepping some water for them in their stalls. Over here is Luis, who is grooming Goldilocks. And there's just some shampoos and stuff over here. Um, over here is Beckett, wearing this cute little collar. Um, and then over here we have Star Song, this adorable little white lab. And this is Ben, he's just sweeping up. And then over here is Liliana, and she is just holding um, Clementine here, and um, this tack set is like one of my more recent ones, and I'm pretty proud of it, um, but I need to work on my saddles a little bit more. And then over here is just a mare in full barn. So this is the Fear of Mare Summer, and her foal's name is Nella. And then over here is the Halflinger Mare in full. Um, the Halflinger Mare's name is Lydia, and her foal's name is uh, Raccoon. And then over here is the Tinker Mare and Foal. The mare's name is Belladonna, and the foal's name is Kingdo. Two paddocks, we have the ponies. So over here is Gandalf, and this is the Black Forest Yearling. In here is Fandral, and he is the um, Collecta Dartmoor Stallion. This is Lizzie. She's just walking through the paddock right now. And then over here, Erica is just taking a picture. And in the back is Empress, and she is a uh, Shetland, a Collecta Shetland. This is Peaches, the Collecta Falabella. And then over here is Peanut Butter, and Peanut Butter is the Dartmoor Foal. And over there is the Collecta Dartmoor Mare, and her name is Empress. And then in the back there is Cookie, and she is a custom on the film mare. Okay, and then down here we have an arena, as well as another mare in full barn. So oh, out here is Lisa in this little sand garden. This cute little cat here, another stretching cat over there right next to Aaron, and then back there is the fell mare in full. Uh, the mare's name is Zumba, and her foal's name is Laren. Then this is the fell mare in full. Her name is Ariel, and her foal's name is Kihan. And then over here we have some different riders. So right there is Charlotte, and she is falling off right now, but you know, it's all good. She'll be fine. And she is riding Breva. And back there in the blue is the Tennessee Walker mare ridden by Chris and the horse's name is Meadow. And the person jumping right there, his name is Alec and he is riding Nutty. And then in the corner is the paint mare, 
and her name is Cloudy and she is being ridden by Elise. So this is currently um, what I have on my shelf here. So I have the three Tennessee Walker mares. I have four uh, Tricaner stallions. I have um, three different Frisian mares at the moment, although I'm hoping to get to make more of them, custom more of them. And then I have three customs on the end. Right here is Almira. She is a custom on the retired Frisian mare. This is Butterscotch. She's a custom on the retired Lobazaner mare. And then finally there's Onyx and he is the um, retired thoroughbred gelding. And then here I have um, a bunch of ponies. So they're, um, these guys are just the custom and then um, one of the originals, although I'm hoping to make more of each of them because I really love these molds. Um, so I have these two, um, these two, and then I have um, a bunch of gray riding ponies and I still am making more of them right now. Uh, and then I have a uh, biscuit, of course, my star of my series. If you haven't watched it, go do that now. And then I have three Dartmoor mares. Um, and this is my newest one. She doesn't have one of her eyes. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And then um, below that, I have Gustav, of course, um, a Collecta, and then a bunch of different Collecta horses. I will be doing another Collecta versus Schleich video, so stay tuned for that. And then below that, I have a few Safari LTD horses, as well as some Schleichs that I need to make blankets for. So these two rows are like the only two, the only two that I have left to make blankets for. So other than that, I think I've made blankets for like all my horses, which is insane because that was like my goal of 2020. All right, Roses, sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but actually I'm going to be splitting this barn tour up into two parts just because I think it's going to be a little bit long. Um, the second half will be released either next week or the week after. And the next part of the barn tour will have my giant barn in it. So that's going to be super exciting. And you guys will be able to see all of my horses that were like originally on the shelf that had blankets. So they're all like living downstairs right now. So can't wait and stay tuned for that video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.